Hey guys, are we here? Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 1 Lesson 18 homework. So let's get started. Number 1, match. Alright, so let's see. Here um, we have some number bonds. So here it's saying 7 tens, break apart into 5 tens and 2 tens. So now I have to look for an equation here that can match this um, number bond. So let's see, 7 tens. So I have 5 tens and 2 tens. So this one is 5 times 10 plus 2 tens, 2 times 10 equals 70, which is 7 tens. So these two match. And now we have 8 fours, so we have 5 fours plus 3 fours equals 8 fours. So 5 fours, 5 times 4 plus 3 fours, 3 times 4 equals 32, which is 8 fours. And now 9 tens, it says 6 tens plus 3 tens equals 90, which is also 9 tens. And this one, we have 5 threes plus 2 threes, and 7 threes, which is 21. All right, number two. So we're doing the same thing as above. Nine times four. Well, let's see, we can break it apart into five fours and four fours. So we can do five times four and four times four. So now that we did that, um, five times four is 20, and the four times four is 16. So 20 plus 16 is 36, which means nine times four is 36. All right, next page. Okay, so number three, Lydia makes 10 pancakes. She um, tops each pancake with four blueberries. How many blueberries does Lydia use in all? Use the break apart and distribute strategy and draw a number bond to solve. So this is basically what we did on the other page. So since she made 10 and she used four blueberries on ten pan every pancake, then we do 10 times four, we do a number bond. We can do 10 times 4. We can break it apart into like 5 times 4 and 5 times 4 since 5 plus 5 is 10. So we can do 5 4s. So now 5 4s plus 5 4s equals 10 4s. So 5 times 4 is 20 plus 20 equals 40. That is 10 fours. And we could also write that thing. We could do 10 um, okay, equal 10 times 4, so that would be 40. So that means 10 times 4 equals 40. So yeah, that could be what to write. So Lydia uses 40 blueberries and all. Number four, Steven solves seven times three using the break apart and distribute strategy. Show an example of what um, Steven's work might look like below. All right, so let's see. Seven times three. So let's cancel seven times three. We can break it apart into four times three and three times three. So let's see, we can do four times three plus three times three equals seven times three. So four times three is 12, three times three is nine. So 12 plus nine equals 21, which means seven times three equals 21. So that could be an example of Stephen's work. Number five, um, there are seven days in one week. How many days are there in 10 weeks? So let's see, seven days in a week and we have to find out 10 weeks. So let's do 10 times seven. We can do five times seven plus five times seven. So let's see, five times seven plus five times seven equals 10 times seven. So five times seven is 35, plus five times seven again is 35. 35 plus 35 is 70, which means 10 times seven equals 70. So I can answer there are 70 days. 
in 10 weeks. All right, so yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.